In this video, I am going to be letting Pinterest make my OCs. But before we get started, please go check out my TikTok and Amino family. Both those will be in the in a link in the description below. Without further ado, please enjoy the video. I would like to note that most of these things I had gotten off of Pinterest, I did not create. So I didn't create the random character OC maker. I didn't make any of the character sheet templates. And I also didn't make the sketch on my own. The reason I didn't make any of these, well, number one with the character sheet random OC maker, I want it to be really random. The character templates were just favorite character templates I had already found. And the sketch I didn't really want to have to make because I already didn't really know what I was getting into. And it was also kind of already really hard for me to think about how I would put together some of the weird characteristics. So this is what I'm using to make my OC and I'm also just using a spin the wheel app to pick all of the numbers and then put it into the chart. This was actually kind of a fun process to find out what my OC was going to be but without actually knowing what I was picking at first because I wasn't just picking at random with the sheet by me, I was picking without the sheet. And these are what I ended up with and it was kind of weird but kind of fun experience. Moving on to the drawing. With this drawing, I did use actually a sketch off of Pinterest because I didn't quite know what I was getting into since I wasn't really doing what I'm used to. So I was using different tools on my Ibis Paint and trying out different things. It was kind of a weird, long, uh, frustrating process because I haven't ever drawn a backpack or a scarf before. So it was kind of hard trying to cartoon that. So. I hope it looks good, but I did enjoy the process. After going in and doing all of the drawing, I went in and I put in some information on these little character sheets I always use for my characters. I normally use one or the other, but I decided to use both because I thought it would kind of be helpful to see its stats and then different background information about it. So this is all of its stats and some of the information needed to know. And this is more of a deep basics um, information on the background check of this thing. It tells stuff like if it does like certain medications, if it has allergies, all these things that you would need to have while creating a comic of this character, which I kind of thought maybe I'd do in the future. So I thought that it would be a good thing to have. At the end of making this character sheet, I kind of tried to make some things creative that would kind of give it characteristics a different from the rest. So I kind of made it so that it's bad memory was eating a bad snake since I was an alien. Anyways, thanks for watching. You have reached the end of the video. Please like and subscribe for more.